Hello, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed 2 and a completely random video. Um, I do appreciate that my regular subscribers won't be interested in this at all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, cheers, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the uh, usual radio stuff. But uh, yeah, I, th I thought I'd do this tool video um, review. I don't normally do sort of tools as it, as it sort of stands, but uh, I specifically needed some very long ring spanners for the job that I was uh, doing on my car so I picked up these these are made by a company Nelson uh, I don't know if that's just a kind of generic make um, you know all of these cheap tools are sort of probably made uh, in China and they are cheap um, I paid just over 20 pounds on UK from Amazon I will leave a link I've also seen these on eBay for about 20 UK pounds but some of those haven't got the Nelson branding which uh, these ones have I don't know if that is relevant or not S claims they're dropped forged and drop forged and chrome vanadium steel I thought that was two different things I thought the cheaper spanners used to be drop forged and the more expensive ones were chrome vanadium not entirely not entirely sure but anyway they're cheap you know 20 UK pounds probably 25 euros for a set of five spanners is pretty damn cheap actually um, I said so I needed them for a uh, Pacific Pacific task. So obviously, what you want to know is the uh, is the quality. Now, when, when I, I've I've got these out and I've looked at them, the first thing all I'm interested in is whether the actual ring of the sort of spanner there is well formed. And for all intents and purposes, uh, it is. It seems uh, you know as good as any of these sort of cheap spanners. I've read a couple of reviews on these spanners before I bought them, and people were going on about uh, imperfections in the chromium plating that's on the spanner. Now, to be honest, I, I really can't see any imperfections on mine. Um, I'm not that bothered, to, you know, as long as the as long as the actual rings themselves are you know perfectly formed and they do the job up you know come on guys it's it's a cheap set of spanners you know what, what you know what do you expect um if you've got a slight bit of imperfection on the chromium well it's not really gonna make any difference to how the spanners spanners work so yeah overall i'm quite impressed by the uh, by the finish they uh, they seem absolutely fine and of course it is the extra length that you're sort of paying for this is a you know a standard kind of um 14 mil spanner and uh, you can sort of see it's probably twice as long, maybe a bit more, and that gives you that kind of that leverage that you need to undo sort of nuts. That obviously that would be no good. I mean, you can, you know, you can with a ring spanner, you can sort of wedge a kind of a jack bar or something in, but it, it's a little bit uh, precarious. Not something that I really, uh, really wanted to do. So there you go. I say visually, I am more than satisfied for my uh, 22, 23 pounds. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, sort of go out into the garage and then I'm going to sort of try these, uh, try these on the car, and we'll sort of you know see if they work, and then I'll come back and just sort of give you my final opinion. To, uh, to get get that in there, and an, a, a normal 14 millimeter ring spanner will only come to about here, so it just hasn't got the hasn't got the length. So this is where these sort of spanners come in, um, and they're very useful. It's going to be very awkward to put that on one-handed. Oh, well, there you go. So as you can see, I can get that on one-handed there and now. If you can see that. There you go. I'm able to uh, remove the tension using the uh, sort of fulcrum of the long spanner there. And then uh, when I put the camera down, I'll be able to take off the dry belt. So. Yeah, I mean, they've got these, only got the uses um, for sort of 20 pounds, really, what well, you can get a set of these on eBay. I think they're quite a good buy. I think they're sort of something to have in your sort of toolbox, especially, you know, you've got sort of nuts that perhaps aren't uh, accessible by, uh, by a socket. So there you go. Very, uh, very useful tool. Quite well made, really, as well. Um, you know, for what they are. I don't know if you was, if you was a mechanic and using these every day, in a garage I suppose you'd want something better maybe snap-on or something like that but for sort of a hobby mechanic a bit of a garage tink tinkerer like myself um, yeah so there you go up. as you saw absolutely perfect I mean that was exactly what I needed to do to undo that tension roller down the side of the car there just there's just not room for a breaker bar or a socket and uh, also worth noting is a very slight offset on these as well it's not too much but you can sort of see 
that is a very, very slight offset, and that is perfect for just getting onto uh, sort of a pulley. So, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually very pleased. One thing I found odd, you know, just just looking at the uh, the sizes of these spanners, they seem normally you would get sort of an eight and a nine mil, uh, then a 10, 11, 12, 13, etc. These seem to sort of do it sort of metrically. So you've got 12 and a 14, then you've got 13 and a 15 it's not really a problem but if you know if you're doing a job and you grab one of these and you try and put the 12 mil on for example and it's just a little bit tight you would expect to swing it round and have the 13 on the other side well you've got the 14 so <laughs> it just means you've got to go back to your toolbox and then sort out it's a little thing isn't it i mean that's my only real kind of criticism i think they may have sort of done that uh, slightly wrong but there you go, um, yeah, that gets the uh, thread in the shed, thumbs up. I think you cannot complain for the uh, for the money. Obviously, as I said on the uh, when I was working on the car, you know, if, if you're a professional mechanic, then these tools probably aren't for you. You're gonna want sort of a snap-on or something like that. I, I kind of, Nielsen, I've, I've not bought this mate before. I would sort of brand it round about the sort of Draper, you know, silver line, Draper sort of quality. Not Probably not the best quality in the world, but for an occasional kind of, you know, budding mechanic or an occasional tinkerer like me likes to mess about with cars. Very handy set of tools to have, um, and just have these in the you know in the back of your toolbox. And um, when you, when when the moment comes when you haven't got the clearance for that breaker bar, then uh, yeah, absolutely, these these are invaluable. So yeah, thoroughly uh, thoroughly recommend them. Links to Amazon and I'll see if I can find these on eBay as well. Links to eBay in the description. But as for now. Thanks for tuning in for that. I know it's not my regular stuff, but regular stuff will resume, as always, on Fred in the Shed too. But as for now, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all on the next one.